Hello, good evening and welcome to the United Stand. We're back, we're back and uh, we will be back like this throughout the summer to be honest when there is significant breaking news and there is some significant breaking news tonight because when the BBC announced something it pretty much, if you're not from the UK, is credible and spot on and they don't commit to something unless it's highly likely. So to read it out to you what's actually broken tonight, Michael, Manchester United's Michael Carrick is set for a one-year contract extension. The 35-year-old midfielder is coming to the end of his 11th season at the club and has a testimonial, as we all know, at the start of June. Contract talks have progressed and confidence has been expressed by both sides that an extension to his existing deal, which expires on the 30th of June, will reach a positive conclusion. Carrick joined, obviously, in 2006 for £18.6 million and it looks like he will be staying longer. Now, to give you some of your thoughts of what people said on, twen on Twitter, we've got Chris Varley who says, what was it all for a few months ago, but me me more recently, he was all for it a few months ago, but more recently he hasn't been himself. Don't know if it's Josie overusing him or just the catching up of age. Um, Ibrahim Six says he heard he'll be a coach or a mentor for the under 23s and I'm all for that. Uh, J Mike Taylor says, meh. Paul B says, excellent news. Steve Langton says, too old and slow, a liability more than an asset. And Christopher Lavin says, no. I tell you what, I think it's a really interesting one. I think it's really, really, really interesting because um, I'm, I'm in two minds. I mean, I'm looking at some of your comments here. LA Turney says he'll be the under 23s coach. If he's going to be the under 23s coach, why does he need a new contract to stay as a player is what I would say. Um, Carrick is great, but still hope Rooney stays. Still think he's he's in better nick than Carrick, says Charlie Maguire. It is quite late. He's probably been drinking. And uh, Suhas says deserves it. He can play 25 games next season and provide quality. Um, it's difficult. I thought with the testimonial he was going, I'm quite shocked by this. But if you know me, you know I'm a massive fan of Carrick. I always say, if you you know no Carrick, no party. If you don't know Carrick, you don't know football. He's not. He is definitely not. And I always argue this. He is not a divider. He is not. Um, he's not an acquired taste. He, he is not, to some people, Marmite and others, caviar. He is just caviar. He is an absolute He's a legend, a Manchester United legend in my mind, because what he, the job he does or has done is just so, so important. And you hear people like Rooney and Scholes saying that he's the easiest player he played with, you know, better than Keane for him personally to play with because he knew that he could just do what he wanted to and Michael Carrick was there to cover for him. Carrick's never been somebody who slides into the tackle. His positional sense is better than any midfielder I've seen in England in the last 15 years. Um, his distribution of the ball is flawless off both feet. He makes a 40-yard ground pass look like a five-yard pass. He is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But, there's, there's a, you know there was a but. The but is, I agree with the person who said that, watching Carrick over the last two months, it's just, it's not criticism, it's age. Age has caught up with him and he's not the player he was anymore because of age. And the problem is, when he comes up against a Wanyama or a pressing team like Liverpool or a Kante for Chelsea or anybody who's got any tenacity and speed and athleticism, he gets exposed. And that is a problem. He cannot be our midfielder anymore on a first team level because we'll just get exposed. And that's not his fault. It's not his fault. He's been a fantastic servant. My other concern about it is, and I've, I've been quite vocal about this on the United stand for a while now, is that when we were struggling around November time, Mourinho sort of ignored Carrick all season up until that point, you know, for the for Fellaini and whatever. He just wasn't playing Carrick. Then Carrick came into the team around, I think it was October, November time. And we went on that unbeaten run and we were really, really good. And we had a midfield three of Carrick, Herrera and Pogba and it worked really, really well. Then we played Liverpool and he took him off at half time and he wasn't the only bad player. Pogba was awful that day and he's never really used him that much since. We've had him here, there and everywhere, but not not consistently. And I thought that that was a big mistake because I actually think we played, we had our best run of football this season when Carrick played. And since Christmas, it's been very haphazard. And I thought that was just a very obvious sign that Carrick was going to be leaving Manchester United. So I'm very surprised that Mourinho thinks he's got another year out of Carrick, but then hasn't used him for the last four months when actually I think we really could have used him. So it's a sort of contradiction, to be honest, that Manchester United and Mourinho want to keep him at the club for another year as a player 
but then he's not really used him in the last four months when I would have used him a hell of a lot more than we have. I mean, we've been very, very reliant on Fellaini, who's not a sense defensive midfielder, when we could have used Carrick in some games. So it does surprise me. Um, I'm on the fence with this one. Personally, I think Michael Carrick is a great player to have around the playing squad. His experience, I, I'd be amazed if Rooney doesn't go. So Carrick staying actually isn't a bad move because it retains an experienced player of note and respect within the club. And if he feels he can be cameoing for a season, that's great. How much of a cameo we can afford him to do next year is really important. Because as I said a few minutes ago, if we play him in games, he is, through no fault of his own, on the decline. And in some games, he's become a weakness. However, if we're going to use him in games at home to the likes of, I don't know, Swansea's and people like that, then that aren't going to press him, then he can still do a good job for Manchester United. So I'm happy that he's staying. I'm very surprised that he's staying because I thought the testimonial, Mourinho's misuse of him this season and the decline, those three factors just seemed to be obvious that he was going. To then found out that both parties are very happy and agree in a, a contract extension of a year is a shock, but it's not one that causes me any great harm, <laughs> obviously. But it's not one that causes me any great issue. I love Michael Carrick. He's been a fantastic servant to the club. He's been very fundamental in what we've achieved. And if he stays for another year, that's great. Um, but does, how does that impact on United next summer, and this summer coming, um, and our plans around the midfield? Um, we've got to sign a centre defensive midfielder. If we don't sign one, we're going back to the latter days of Sir Alex Ferguson when we were crying out to sign a midfielder. We need to sign a centre defensive midfielder in the mould of a, like I say, a Wanyama, a Kante, that sort of player. That's what Manchester United massively need, that tenacious tenacity, that fight, that drive, that athleticism, to just go and get the ball and give it to the better players. We really do miss that, and, and we've got to go and do that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. But let's take some of your comments. Um, United in the stands chant is chanting. It's Carrick, you know. Hard to believe it's not Skulls. And I'm very much in that mood. I mean... I do. He's one of them players that I don't really want him to go, but I can understand why some people do. But to say he's getting a contract extension to coach the under twenty threes is highly inaccurate because you don't you don't need to give him a contract extension in playing staff to do that. We are obviously going to use him next year, in this next season. Um, Arjun says he's played a lot this season, well, not as much as he should have done. Um, Rodriguez isn't a deal done deal, no. Um, his Champions League experience could be vital, says Suhas again. Um, and Google Google says I'm worried we can't or won't find a world-class centre midfielder and that's why we're keeping him. Um, Jabi rates him highly, Selwyn, oh, I rate him high, highly. Um, has he signed a new deal yet? No, but it's um, it's in the BBC that he will do, so he will do. He's going to sign a new contract. Um, um, Delta Daz, Mark, do you ever switch off and have a break, buddy? I was just actually heading upstairs to bed, sorting some stuff out for the transfer show in the morning, and then I saw this and I thought, hmm, we need to sort of get into the practice of doing this because there will, be, there was, there has been over the last couple of summers, deals do sometimes happen, or news does sometimes filter out at about eleven o'clock at night. So there will, you never know. The United Stand could go, you could be getting three shows a day, but uh, it depends on what whether it's worthy or not. But this is worthy. Um, poor Rick, thanks, thanks for that. Um, let me just uh, thanks for that comment, poor Rick. You know what you said, uh, your last one on the United Stand blocks. See you later, poor Rick. Um, I hope uh, I hope that made you feel worthwhile that only I read it and it got blocked. Um, is this real, says Benjamin. Yes, this is real. I am really sat here and you can see it on the BBC website as well. So it's definitely real. Mohammed says it's one of my favourite players. And Johnny Blaze 23 says, I missed the beginning. What happened? So the beginning is that Manchester United have offered Michael Carrick a one-year extension, which it's, which he is going to sign. And both parties are very happy with. This has just come out off the BBC website. It's not the BBC gossip site. It's actually a BBC uh, reporter who's reporting it. Um, it's going to happen. And I think we're all quite surprised. Some of us are pleasantly surprised. Some of us are really shocked because I don't think Mourinho's used him enough this season for a player that he wants to keep for another year. I've seen the decline in Carrick and I thought the testimonial was an obvious bye-bye. But if Rooney's going and Carrick's staying, it's not a bad thing because the experience will get. And I think Carrick can still do a jo job. It's just not going to... I think the thing is, it's, 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 it's sort of uh, 
readapting your mind to Carrick, isn't it? You know, for years we've just had him as a constant playing every game, running that midfield. He can't do that anymore. So next season we might get 10 games out of him. Um, I just hope we're still going to sign a centre defensive midfielder because that would be a concern. Uh, Chris Jericho is just about to go to bed. Um, Carrick to get new legs for one season, says Dan to Rowa. Um, sign Matidi, Matidi, says Andy. We've got to sign somebody. Edwin Castro has just come out with the player that I think would be perfect. Fabino is the one I would go and get. I think he is the one player that I would go and get from Monaco above anybody else because I think he's exactly what we need. Um, the Formals Lime says, I love Carrick. Great experience. Just hope Jose doesn't try to play him for a full 90 minutes week in, week out. He's not going to do that because he's not doing that now. So he won't be doing that. But Troll says, it's time to move Carrick on. He's been a great servant, but not good enough unless he's only going to be a squad player, which he will, he will have to be, won't he? And Arian says, love him, want him to stay, and hope we can buy a successor that can look towards Carrick on how to play as a United player. Um, and Darcy Sweeney perfectly says, Joshua Kimmich would be a great Carrick replacement. Well, Carrick's obviously not going to be going anywhere. He's going to be here for another year. So if you're not watching live, give us your comments below. Let us know what you think. Um, but yes, Michael Carrick will stay for another year. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised. Um, literally just more or less gone live as soon as it came out. So I'm really surprised, but um, I'm not. I wish you luck tomorrow, Jack, for your test. Um, is the Carrick fan here? The Carrick fan? Is the Carrick fan here? The Carrick fan is here. And he says, I'm happy that Michael Carrick is staying for another year, providing as a squad player. I think me and Carrick fan uh, are on the same page with that. Massive, massive fan of Michael Carrick. Um, I don't know what Carrick fan thinks about this actually I mean the Carrick fan's fantastic he has not got enough subscribers fantastic reviews I love it but um, the yeah I'm always honest I've always loved Carrick but I'm not blind to the fact that he is on the decline but it's not the same as Rooney declining in, when he, in his early 30s Michael Carrick's in his mid 30s and he's a midfielder it's totally natural and, it, and I've got no issue with that and I would never get on Carrick's back because he's been a fantastic servant but for 10 games next year, like I say, against the lesser sides he can, at Old Trafford, he can run a midfield um, with better players around him. And I think what you get an experience from him in the dressing room, in the changing room, and the respect that players have for him, and the knowledge he can pass on, it was something I spoke about a few weeks ago. That with Rooney, if Rooney goes, Carrick goes, Zlatan goes, De Gea goes, Ashley Young goes, you lose a lot of experience from the squad in one summer. And we've seen what happens when you do that. We saw what Moyes did when he let Ferdinand and Vidic and um, Evra go um, it's or didn't use them. Or, and, and, and I know that what happened didn't, didn't happen in one summer, did it? But you know what I mean? And Giggs obviously retired and, and Skulls. We lost a load of leaders in, one, in a very short period of time. And whether they're good on the pitch or not, you can't stop but listen to what people like Rashford and the younger players say. You know, Rooney's just a legend in the dressing room. He's not a legend on the pitch anymore in the way he plays, but you can't measure what you get behind closed doors. I mean, they play a couple of games a week, but they train every day. They're together every day. And that experience is really important. And I think Mourinho may have made a shrewd move here because he can't carry Rooney. He can't keep Rooney for another year because Rooney's already said, I'm not happy being a squad player. Manchester United aren't going to be happy that their £300,000 a week captain's not really a squad, is a squad player. But Carrick's different. Carrick probably is happy to stay at Manchester United. So I think there are a lot of positives when you talk through it. I think, I think there are. And um, I think it just, um, it, it just it allows us the, the, the opportunity not to get rid of a load of experience. Um, because the, the new experience will be the likes of Pogba and Herrera, but to, it's always good to have that attachment. And I remember Ryan Giggs saying that in his time at Manchester United, the great thing was, and he became it, was that we always had somebody. We always had somebody who'd been there, done it, and was experienced at the club. There was never a total clear out. I mean, even when we, even when Sir Alex Ferguson did it in 95, and he got rid of Kinchelskis and Ince and Hughes, and, and we went into that first game of the season with the kids at Aston Villa, there was still Schmeichel, Keane and Cantona at different levels of experience. Like Schmeichel had been there longer than Keane, but Keane had obviously been there a few years and learnt from the likes of Ince and Robson and... And Cantona had obviously done that as well. So there was always that. So you've always got to retrain it. And I think, going back to what I was on about before, there's this real uh, hunger to go and sign new big Galactico players. But we've been doing that for the last three years and it's not worked out that well. 
We've got to be in touch with the youth because they come through the club and they know what it's all about. And we've also got to be in touch with those players that have been here a long time and know what it's all about. You can't all be about the middle. Oh, let's just buy 11 Galacticos. It won't work. They won't know what the club's about. They won't have the experience of it. So I think it's a very, very intelligent thing that we've done with Michael Carrick. Um, and I've sort of worked my way through it with you lot on this show because when I started, I was quite stunned and surprised. But that's the, that's the beauty of sometimes going live and interacting is that you can talk your way through the situation and I think ultimately as long as Rooney goes Carrick Stein is a real positive he's not going to play every game next season and, and, and I think you've got to get your head around that but as a, as a character Carrick is a, is a great person to have around um, and Dante Gerard, I, I, I do agree with you subscribe to the Carrick fan fantastic I, I find his content really raw but passionate and uh, really big fan of his um, I've been meaning to shout him out for a long time and I haven't seen him on the live comments for a while so it's great to see him um, United Lads says getting rid of experience was one of David Moyes' biggest mistakes which it was and uh, Benjamin doesn't want us to mention Moyes again because it makes his tum extern um, and 18 million for Carrick was, a, was, was an absolute bargain he's one of, been one of our best signings at the time a lot of people thought it was a lot of money but oh god an absolute steal an absolute steal um, Roy Martin spot on he says a clear out is vital but it's got to be the right players at the right time yeah I totally agree with that um Lots of you watching. I know it's slightly late, but just as a heads up, it won't happen every night. Half past eight happens every night. Seven o'clock in the morning happens every morning for the transfer show. But I hadn't warned people. If there is breaking news, we will react to it. So it could be 11 o'clock. It could be half 10. It could be half 11 as it is now. But if it's, if it's credible, we'll react. There's always a story that comes out about United. There always is. But if it's credible, and this is off the BBC, and it's, it's important... And we will react so thanks everyone for watching please do drop a like on the video because obviously we 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 put the effort in as much as you take the effort to watch it so thanks to all you lot so please do drop a like on the video and uh, subscribe if you found us because you're new um literally you're going to get another united stand video in six hours and 15 minutes we'll be up with the football day the transfer daily it is i'll tell you what i'll tell you what it is an effort but i do enjoy doing it and um if you appreciate the effort then uh, there's always the super chat or the patreon page but uh there we go but um brian parr wants me to read my comment mark well i've read your comment brian there you go um i know i read brian parr's he says i honestly think that jose has a plan he knows the kind of team he wants to run with and carrick's passing probably fits his plans jose has a plan i'm putting faith on it it's an interesting point but i just don't think carrick is part of the long-term plan or even next season i think he's just going to be an experienced player he can use here and there because carrick can't play 38 games a season so you can't build a team around carrick i think he's just somebody there to to you know complement provide experience and uh you know i think that's really important thanks everyone for watching back tomorrow morning i'll speak to you all soon